A week after lawmakers from Nigeria's House of Representatives were left fuming following the refusal of the nation's service chiefs and the Inspector General of Police to appear before them, all military heads and the Inspector General of Police himself finally appeared to brief the lawmakers on activities and efforts to curb rising security challenges in the country. The service chiefs raised concerns over several challenges that have impeded the success of their operations and called for lawmakers' support to find a lasting solution to the challenges. New Central Sidong Joseph compiled this report. Appearing before the lawmakers for the sectoral briefing that aims to give stewardship are the Chief of Defense Staff, the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Naval Staff, the Chief of Air Staff, and the Inspector General of Police. To the dynamics of crimes and criminalities. Taking turns to address the House on their activities and efforts to address security challenges, the Inspector General of Police identified paucity of funds, which he says has led to poor manpower logic, training, and poor welfare for police personnel. We have 1,537 police divisional headquarters across 774 local governments in Nigeria. But getting vehicles, operational vehicles, for the division is difficult. Each of these divisions requires at least four functional patrol vehicles. But we have divisions who don't have any functional patrol vehicle as of today. Training in the police is still inadequate. The welfare of personnel is nothing to write home about. Mm. Order. However, he says despite these challenges, the police have under his leadership within the last five months recorded successes which needs to be intensified with lawmakers' support. There's no amount of arrests that we make that will solve our security problems. Today we make arrests of 100, tomorrow 200 criminals are coming out. It is not possible to arrest all the criminals and recover all the weapons. But within the environment where we function, the police has done so well and we are still doing so much. Also, while reeling out the efforts of the military to curb insecurity, the Chief of Defense Staff says the military has succeeded in capturing all areas previously held captive by terrorist groups. He expressed worry over the activities of one of the leaders of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Simon Ipa, currently in Finland, saying his activities were causing harm to the military. Samuel Ekpa has become a menace to this country. So the country must act on it diplomatically. Finland is having a freeway encouraging him to do what he's doing. By his utterances and his actions, he's affecting what is happening in Nigeria. We should never allow that, sir. So I think our foreign service need to step in to address such issues. It's either we invite the, uh, the, the ambassador or somebody. They must explain why they are protecting him. And he's doing us more harm because by his utterances, a lot of people have been killed. After being grilled by lawmakers over security concerns, the session was drawn to an executive session.